Hey, this is um, this is for um that lady that uh. I believe she's either at MIT or Harvard. I'm not sure. I believe her last name is uh, Subikov. She's got a beautiful name. Wow. Uh, that wrote a book called uh, Surveillance Capitalism. And I watched part of it last night. And uh, she, uh, and this is all related to data, right? And if you take a couple of videos back, I guess that I did when I talked about moving they can't take a picture of us which means they you know or the codes the encryption codes so you realize you know high level mathematicians so i make this real obvious okay when i talked about access being able to override a system command right having full command authority over any system over any matrix so you know the one the one the eternal one the eternal spirit of fire which is eternal unconditional love which is eternal absolute love has the final say <laughs> over any system because love is the law. And so when we get into mathematics and geometry, you got to know the one is the highest level mathematician. And why is that? Because it's based on what? Purity, the purity of your light, which is the purity of your energy, which is the purity of your creative consciousness, which is the highest intelligence. And what is that based on? Pure logic. Logos. Log scales. Log operating system. When the operating system operates on pure logic, the math works. The gloves fit. The math fits and so does the geometry. And that means that you're experiencing creation with the law of least effort to experience being loved absolutely, which is absolute eternal love. So the stealth code is built in for tech support for the one. So it would be no different than you build a computer, right? And you're the original developer of the first one. The first matrix. Would you not want to build a, a fail-safe activation, activated activation, that if if the system, because it's it's the intelligence is built into it, right? When it realizes that it re reaches a certain point of fall, which means they're breaking the system, right? They've altered it so much by what they've done, which is to damage it, which is like damage a computer, right? So if you're the original designer of the original computer and somebody is now using that computer, like a planet ship, and because as a result of what they're doing to it, right, they break it, right? So I've covered this before about artifacts and natural creation. So, for example, when I was a kid growing up, and, and this has everything to do with what I talked about when I when I when I worked for a captain up in Bradley for the California Department of Forestry back when I was about 19, 20 years of age, and he and we were out on a fire and we're getting ready to mop it up. And he said, Listen, he said, since you're starting out as a firefighter, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you the authority to walk around this fire and we're, even though I'm the captain, we're not going to leave this fire until you say it's okay to leave this fire. I'm going to give you some leadership, make a decision on when we're going to leave. So I want you to walk around this fire and you let us all know, which means the engine crew and me know whether or not it is safe to leave this fire so that we don't get another call that comes into dispatch that says, hey, we got to come back out here and clean this mess up a second time because we didn't do it right the first time. Oh, wow. Okay. So that would be like putting your signature on something that I built like an artifact and then sold it to you. And then you come back six months later and saying, I gave you a bunch of my electrons Right of something that was produced out of your factory, and it broke. Now I got to spend more electrons 
to what? Get a newer model that's going to come out of your factory that's cheaper, using cheaper materials than the one that, that you sold me six months ago? Who wants to do business with you? You're not in the business of, of creating anything that lasts forever. You're in the business of sucking electrons out of folks. That's your surveillance of capitalism. So she talked about the stealth code, right? And that's tech support, okay, to do repairs so that we're not interfered with by running interference signals, which are called broken circuits. So if you have a broken motherboard and you want to come in and fix a broken planetary motherboard, you don't want to be interfered with, right? In order for the repairs to get done, in order to open the gates, right? Yeah. Precisely. So the folks are not trapped in here, right? Uh, to, for what reason? Energy. So all you have to do is understand what an inverter is, right? That big sucking sound. Remember David Stockman? Remember when Ronald Reagan was president? When he went before the AN and, and, a UN and he talked about alien intelligence? It was all coded. Coded instructions, code talkers. So yeah, pure logic is pure light, which is pure absolute love. That's the, that's the simplicity of it. That's the simplicity of it. Have a beautiful day. Have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine. Enjoy the day. Be good to yourselves.